Alright, it's been a while since my last video. Last video we covered the USP was at that time my my new pistol, my new firearm. Uh, since then I've picked up another pistol, my new carry weapon. This is a 45 caliber, still in the HK line, still in the HK family, which I prefer. I really like their weapons a lot. So before we continue on in the reviews, let's uh, make sure we clear the weapon. I do have snap caps, these things, if you're not familiar with it. They're not real rounds, they're dummy training practice rounds. So, empty magazine, magazine out. That's for the HK-45. Let's uh, lock back the slide. That's, a, that's an empty chamber, if you can see it there. But Racked it several times, so you're all comfortable with it. So, I'm going to put the magazine back in, but again, empty. Snap caps. That's the HK-45. Now, to compare it with the uh, HK-USP, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Kick it out, like the last video. Snap caps. Well, Lock back the slide, and yeah, sure enough, we've got an empty chamber. I can stick my finger in it. I have one of those chamber flags from um, one of the ranges I visit, so. But, racked it several times, sure, so you're sure. What we're going to do is take the magazine, put the magazine right back in. So now you know, when we're reviewing these, these are clear weapons. All right. So, I'm not going to go over the USP, um, kind of cover that with the other video as old it is, is, as it is, yeah, kind of cover that. What I'm, this video is more targeted to is covering the HK-45, and we're going to, I do have the USP here, just so that we can kind of compare um, the evolution from the HK-45, I think the P-30 line as well, uh, it's a 9mm uh, variant of the evolved features of the USP. Basically, it's an evolution from the USP over to the HK newest lines of firearms. So, this is the HK-45C. They come with uh, removable back straps, so you can get, you can adjust your grip size. Um, I have big hands and you know, the reason why I kind of like the USP to begin with is because it, it felt really good in my hands. And in fact, I uh, I do have the hold grip on here just because I need it even bigger. Uh, it's got the palm swells, and we can go over that in a little bit. In fact, I'll go over that with, with this, this firearm. I do like the wider um, grip on the guns. Um, I do have bigger hands, so hence I like uh, a wider grip. Um, so I have put in the largest back strap. The HK45C does come with the, a medium back strap. By default, it's installed with a smaller back strap. So I did have to take that out. All it really is a is a punch right here. Pull that in. Replace the back strap. Put it back on. You've got the larger um, width and girth. Um, I went ahead and like my USP, put on the whole handle just because I do like these finger grooves. You know, if I if I were to get the full size, they kind of come with that webbing front anyways, but with the HK-45C and the whole handle, um, I, I wanted a new carry weapon. So I do like, I do like that, that, that grip there. Um, so I, I really like the whole handle. One thing that the Hogue also gives me is, if you see the palm swells, you know, that's, that's definitely a plus. And that not only is the medium back strap make it uh, a larger grip, um, the finger grooves with the hog handle, but the the palm swells. You know, since I have larger hands, any much larger that can give the feel of the rubber, all of that. That's just great. The other plus too is I know people don't like the um, this magazine here. With this end, they, they, they say that it gets caught up in their shirts. 
Um, I'm so used to carrying a larger size weapon that when I went to comp compact, I normally just tug my shirt down anyways. So I really like this um, this particular magazine that does have the the lip here because when I do grab it, you know, it feels like it's it's caressing my hand there, and it uh, just feels really nice. So unlike the USP um, that I do have here, if you look at on that, there is no um, slide slide release on this side. On the other side, there's ambidextrous slide release, and the way that works is on the HK45, this is on the other side here, that one that just connects with the slide release on the other side, it's got some notches in there, and you can push that down, and that'll send the slide forward. Other new features of this evolved line of handguns with HK, the pick tenny rail up front for your light attachments, the larger paddles. Um, for the mag release, um, I really like that a lot. The front serrations, um, and that that makes it really nice. Um, I'll show you a couple of reasons why. Normally, with the with the with my with my guns as I carry them, um, what I'll do is I'll you know make sure that when I'm, I'm I'm out for the day, I do have a round in the chamber. And I used to always kind of like do this, but then having to you know, look look over my hand to check the chamber. With the front serrations, I can actually do that, you know, pull it forward a little bit, and then peek in. It's like, yep, I got a round in there, or I don't have a round in there. That makes it really nice. Um, if you look at the, the triggers, you know, they're basically pretty much the same with the trigger guard as well. So they're very similar, and in fact, they one th this HK45 fits really nicely in my my USP carry holster, my crossbreed crossbreed super tuck, um, and just then that's because of that this area of the handgun, this area of the handgun is very similar, if not almost exactly, to the USP. So. Another thing that's really nice about the compact version of the HK45 is the sight radius. Um, you know, you think compact gun, you know, smaller sight radiuses. Um, um, but with the HK45C, I compare it with the with the USP. So we'll line up. If you can see that, the sight. For the HK45C and the full-size USP, almost pretty much line up. I mean, maybe a, um, a few millimeters different, but you know, for a compact for a compact weapon, you do have the the full sight radius as the the full-size gun. One of the other things to mention, the difference between the guns and the ergonomics is, um, I don't know if you can really tell from there. I'll kind of do a slight angle shift. Let's see on the lighting there. Uh, not sure if you can really tell, but right over here, the difference between the USP line, it does go in a little bit. Okay. And then, you know, first I didn't really notice it. I um, went ahead and um, bought the fire, firearm without really holding it in my hand just because I, I heard it, it was like the USP. And if, if it was like the USP, that's, that's all that really mattered. I was happy with it, looking for a larger caliber um, pistol, so I was fine. But, you know, when I received it, I realized, you know, there's things about it I liked even more and more and, and, and whatnot. So what, what that does is when I'm holding the pistol, right, and then my, I'm ready, you know, to, to take fire, my, uh, the way it's, it's, it's laid out like that, you can my finger kind of goes right into that that inset and it and it it molds in there. Um, to explain that is I've got this right here, this this little bone right here. And your finger kind of goes like this and kind of juts outwards because of that bone. And then when you're when you're on the gun and you're holding it, it 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 goes right into that groove. And then when you're when you're gripping that pistol, 
it feels a lot different. Well, you can tell the difference. I wouldn't say it's a lot different, but that the way it goes in like that pulls your hand into the gun a little bit more. Actually makes your, your hand mold into the gun a little bit more. And basically the experience between that is kind of like how my Hogue grips um, work with my, my handguns. Is that the whole grips make my fingers, my and with the palm swells with my palm, with the HK45 with the inset and and all of that, it just molds right into my hand. You know, it's a really great feel, really great fit. I mean, it, it and it should be. Um, I think your accuracy, personally, I think the the better the the gun fits in your hand, um, the better you will be with using your firearm. In fact, I, I stress, and I'm an HK fan, um, but I stress if you're looking for or in the market for a farm that you go feel, feel the gun and hold it before you buy it. You know, obviously I said I went ahead and bought it without feeling it because I knew, hey, it was, it was, I knew it was better than the USP and I like the USP. So I'm just quite pleased. It's just, it was more than I expected. It was better than I expected, which is always a plus, right? They're similar. This is a variant one. With that racking of the slide, it puts it into um, it. It it basically cocks the hammer back, ready for a, a single action trigger pull. And a single act single action trigger pull is really just a, a lighter trigger pull. Very light trigger pull. I carry the weapon in double action mode, and what double action mode means is from this point. It's a heavier trigger pull, um, but it's doable. If I draw my weapon and I present it and I pull the trigger, it'll still pull. It's a heavier trigger pull, but it's still possible. You can actually see, if I pull it up closer and turn it to the side here, you can actually see, yeah. Um, as double action, you can see at, with the pull, it's cocking the hammer back, and at the point of the break, the slide will kick backwards, and the next the next trigger pull will be the lighter single action, because the the action of the pistol chambers the next round. It's not going to be a hard double action pull every time after that. Rather, it's a hard double action first pull and a very light single action follow-up. Now that now that's important um, because personally when I'm when I have it in the holster I don't like really light you know light pull. You know people can carry it and I think with the 1911s they do that but locked and cocked and what that means is cocked with the safety with the safety up. Sorry I didn't mean to let that go but cocked with the safety up. Safety up means, yep, a little tougher to pull. But I personally don't like relying on safety, and I don't train with the safety on. Um, and I want to be consistent with well, how I train and how I carry. How I carry is I don't have the safety on, but I don't like the soft touch of the trigger pull to it for the single action pull. So because of that, I like it double action. If there's any uh, incidents, mistakes I make, you know, if my shirt kind of gets into the trigger guard, well, you know, I know it's it takes a little takes a little going for the double action, but in a high stress high stress situation, double actions still doable. I can pull that thing really easy. In fact, I do that a lot when I train at the range or up in the national forest. Pull, present, double action. Single action, single action, single action, all the way to my magazine's empty. Speaking about gun being empty, it's a good time to talk about the, the mag release. Um, just like the USP, I'm very familiar and I actually like the design of the, the mag releases. Ambidextrous on each side of the gun. Okay. Some people have problems, and you know they're they're used to the the mag release being right there. You press it with your thumb, and you go. In fact, if you <clears throat> try to do it with your thumb here, you're gonna have you know unless you have 
crazy long thumbs, you can do it. You, you know, but you're already shifting your grip around. What actually works better for me is is presenting the gun, right? You've got boom, 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 boom. You're out. Then keeping my 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 same grip, I'll just shift it a little and using my middle finger right there, drop the magazine. Then I'll reach back over, grab my magazine because I don't have another one ready, the one I drop. Reach back over, put it right back in, pop it right in. Racket, ready to go. So, a lot of people are not familiar with the H and Ks. They don't like that design with the paddles. I, I do. Um, in fact, um, probably the reason why I went with the with the H K forty fives. I I wanted um, a forty five caliber. I wanted H Ks durability. Um, I also wanted um, the same platform. If you notice, like I said, everything's everything's the same. Um, they've added features to the gun, which is not a bad thing. So I'm not going to complain. They added some much more uh, better things to the gun. If you look at look at them side by side, I don't know if you can really tell that. I'm trying to line it up so you can see it better. But uh, let's see. Let me get that good. The USP basically is a is a block your gun. This gun's a block your gun. This, you know, visually you can't really tell, but it, it's if you look, and I know a lot of people are gonna be freaking out, like, oh I'm pointing at the camera and the bullet's gonna go through the camera over the internet and kill me in my you know sitting here watching a video, but don't worry. First of all it's not loaded. And this here, you know, I'm not really in front of you, you're behind a computer over, you know, TCP IP fragments on the other side of the internet, whatever. Anyways, so, so if you look at that, you can, I don't know if you, you can't see from here, but basically what the, visually speaking, the gun is the gun, and then kind of right up here, it kind of goes upwards at angles, so it slims, slims a bit more, and that, that that keeps its aggressive styling, but makes it a bit slimmer. When you're carrying the pistol in a holster, you can actually tell the difference. Um, and I've carried this before. I, I did. I, I now have this on my permit, so it's legal for me to carry in California. Um, but it is. It feels nicer. It's. 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 It. It presses against your body much nicer, and it's slimmer, and just it feels better in there. And you can, if you carry pistols. Um, you carry one to the other, you, you'll tell immediately that there is a difference, and it, it feels good. You know, I've got a better compact pistol, you know, with the HK platform that I love, that is a larger caliber. I mean, we're talking 45 caliber, and do the research, you can um, look it up in Wikipedia, the 45 caliber is larger than 9mm, for those of you who are not familiar with firearms. But I've got everything I want. I've got the HK platform. I've got more aggressive, upgraded features. Um, I've got the larger caliber in there, and uh, and I'll show you another thing that I that I appreciate about it. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to show you a little bit the some of the improvements inside as well. So I'm going to go and take it down. Um, remember, I I have a round chambered in here, uh, a, a dummy round, a snap cap, basically. So just to kind of simulate some safety practices, um, and I think there's a lot of this this gun safety um, check that, that you have to pass. You have to just demonstrate this when you when you after you purchase a gun in California when you leave the gun store. Basically, and what what that is is I've got a dummy round chambered, right? I'm going to take out the mag, and and with the magazine gone. It's a. Uh, it's not necessarily a safe gun until you check the chamber, and and the reason what they why they why they say that is because some guns, not all guns, my gun personally, can fire with the round 
in the chamber with no magazine in the gun. And um, in this case, I do have a, a round in there, a dummy round. That's not going to really fire. Um, but I just I do want to demonstrate if I... Now you guys didn't see the round fly out. But sure enough, it did, and it's and it's right there. Anyways, that's just one step to getting the gun taken down. Same like the USP, you're going to line up the notch with the the hinge of the slide release. And then you're going to poke at it on the other side to kind of get it out. Um, I lost my fingernails the other day because I actually cut them. So let me see if I can actually get this out. Yeah. Alrighty. Bear with me. I'll get it eventually. There it is. That sucks when you don't have nails. <laughs> Alright, that's the slide release lever. I actually need to get that out. But it is, it's out. And with that out, it makes it easy for the slide to Come right off. Excellent. All right. So this is the uh, the spring assembly right here. Basically, when um, the gun goes off, the forces that drive the slide backwards for the the action that recoil is buffered by the H and K spring. But there's a little difference. This is not in the USP line. See that right there? Well. When that compresses and um, the slide, you know, slants backwards, it's it's going to be it's going to that a bunch a bunch of that force is going to be taken by this little thing here. Taking the barrel off, I got it. Cool. And I don't think you can see that. I think you can kind of see it a little bit. You might have to blow up the video into full size in one high definition. Right around there, that's the O-ring. And what that does is uh, it helps when when the when the gun is doing its action for a better barrel to slide lock up for for better follow up accuracy. Um, does it work? Um, I don't know. I've done my qualifications, done some rapid fire scenarios, and been able to, you know, keep those rounds um, pretty much on target in a rapid fire scenario. Um, and this, even with the 45 caliber, which is a more powerful handgun, I've been able to manage that a lot better. Once the slide's back on, it's pretty much secured from the fact that the slide is on there. Slide back on again. Kind of in reverse, get that notch in the right place, and your slide release lever goes right back in. One of the things between the USP line and the new um, HK45, and I'm, I'm sure the P30 uh, series does that as well, is that the slide release lever is much slimmer, much more streamlined, um, not as blocky um, as a USP line. So very subtle, subtle improvements there. So that, that's pretty much it. Um, the HK45 comes with um, glow-in-the-dark sights, and, and they're not the like the tritium night sights. They actually take some exposure. If I expose it to some light and I pull it back, well, can't really tell here, but in the dark, they'll be um, they'll be lit up pretty well, but they won't last that way. You have to re-expose them, you know. But it's, you know, it's acceptable for me if I have a tactical light. Sorry. So this is not my tactical light, but it's one of my mini flashlights. Blind in there. Anyways, if I'm in a situation at night where I do need it, you know, I could obviously have a, a light installed on my Pictanium rail here, or I could, you know. I could definitely do that kind of thing, and with the HK45 night sights, you know, all I really need to do this, you know, bump in the night, do that kind of thing. That's good enough. I go out, and I've actually tested this before, and it's pretty bright. 
I won't last, but you know it's better than nothing. I'll take I'll take it over nothing. That's the uh, HK 45C. The uh, it's a great firearm. Love this one. This is so far my favorite gun, and uh, the recoil is very manageable for a 45. I mean, now I, I when I first shot, I was kind of a little intimidated. I have to admit, but. You know, now that I've put maybe about 200 rounds down and qualified with my uh, for my permit, um, I have to say it's really nice. Larger caliber, um, more compact gun. HK45 people, and as always, have a good day.